Hello YouTube, Psychofox here. Uh, you're not looking at anything to do with games, uh, you're looking at my 1980s web called Zip cordless telephone. As you can see, the light is on and it's uh, jerry rigged at the moment, so if I let go of it, yeah, the light goes off. And if you click it to on air, you get pretty much the same thing, just a, just a steady tone. So you can see I've got that jerry rigged up uh, to a mains adapter, mains charger uh, at 7.5 volts because the battery packs long since uh, corroded away and completely died. So the reason I've got this is this is. Um, my family's old cordless telephone from I think we got it in about 1985. It's got a big old aerial on the top there. And it was just stuck in my dad's shed. So I thought, oh I'll rescue it, give it a clean and put it in the put it in the nostalgic collection. So it's a web called Zip. I believe uh, it was manufactured in Canada. So it's uh, got nice big old clunky buttons. Uh, I'll just show you the, the base unit for it. So the base unit has got a built-in uh, charger for the battery, which obviously lights up when you're charging, lights up when you're in use, and that just always lights up to show you've got power. You've got a power button there, and a call button. I'm not sure what that really does. Uh, so yeah, it's got attachments on the back for your aerials, which you can see here. But uh, yeah, my dad rigged up a massive um, external aerial connected like an old TV aerial into a pear tree we had, which really boosted the range of this thing. We used it to communicate because um, we had a fruit farm down the bottom of the orchard. And if my dad was down there spraying or pruning or whatever, tending to the apple trees and uh, raspberries and stuff, yeah, we could get in touch with him on this, on the web called Zip. But we actually, um, using the big aerial, we we went to a hill, I think it was about 10 miles away, in direct line of sight, and we actually got a signal out there. So it was, a, it was almost a proper mobile telephone if you're, in, if you're in good sight of the aerial, which was about 20 foot up a pear tree on the top of a hill. So it's, uh, it's yellowed quite a bit. There's a clip for your belt. So this was always on my dad's belt whenever he was out down the, down the orchards. So it's just nostalgic for me, really. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I thought, Bloody hell, I've not seen that in a long time. I thought we got rid of it years ago. But uh, there's not much information on these on the internet. And this is probably the only um, YouTube video showing one. So I thought I'd just document it. It's not games related, but it's nostalgic related for me. So I thought I'd document it. So that is the Webcore Zip cordless telephone from the mid-1980s. And it's... Um, and its base unit, as you can see, comes with a US style um, adapter, which rattles, so I'm not plugging that in. It's a bit of information on the bottom. 12 volt, that was manufactured in Japan. So I think we used to have that plugged into a shaver socket in the cupboard all the time, which was uh, a bit dodgy, really. There's a bit of information on the bottom. Long range cordless telephone, model number 505, Webcore Electronics, Plainview, New York. I do apologise, it's, uh, it's American, New York, but it was made in Japan. This is serial number 010171. And that's all you've got on the bottom. So yeah, on the back you've, um, you've got your RX antenna, your DC power your telephone line, line connections and uh, another antenna TX antenna on the right there so my dad just had that spliced together for some reason because it didn't have the right connections for our um, for our phone and the other end's just been cut off obviously when he took it out so yeah I just thought I'd show that it's a nice um, bit of nostalgic history for me completely useless but um, something I will not be throwing away. So, thanks for watching. YouTube, Psycho Fox here. Uh, you're not looking at anything to do with games. Uh, you're looking at 
from a 1980s web called Zip cordless telephone. As you can see, the light is on and it's uh, jerry rigged at the moment. So if I let go of it, yeah, the light goes off. And if you click it to on air, you get pretty much the same thing. Just a just a steady tone.